Hey guys, so today's video is going to be about how to begin programming, what programming language to use, what sources to refer and how to become a good programmer. So before you start, what you need to be clear in your head is what kind of programming you want to do. So basically there are a lot of fields in programming. You can become an iOS app developer, you can become a core software developer for a company like Google or, or you can program websites, you can create games. And there are a lot of things that you can do in programming. So you need to be clear in your head what kind of programming you want to do before you start. So when I started, I was clear that I wanted to do iOS app development, even though in my university, I had to go through all kind of courses, but I was clear that I had to do iOS app development. So I went for Swift. Hey guys, so before we move on, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button and that red subscribe button. It really motivates me to make new videos. So let's say you want to become a software developer for a big company like say Google or Microsoft. So there could be two or three options for you. You can either go for C, you could go for C++, you could go for Java, even though Java is becoming obsolete these days, C++ is the trend but it is still like useful for Android development and a lot of different things. So you need to choose what kind of programming language you want to go ahead with C, C++ or Java. So let's say you want to create mobile apps, iOS or Android. So if you want to go for iOS development, you could start with JavaScript and then move on to Swift or you could go directly for Swift or Objective C. If you want to create Android apps, you could go for Java. So now let's say you want to create websites. So for web development, what I'll suggest is you either go for Ruby or you go for Python. So if you go for Ruby, you can go ahead and learn Ruby on Rails. If you go for Python, you can learn Django and thus become web developers. So now we are done with the most important part that is what programming language we want to go ahead. Because when I was in my university, I was taught a different language every semester. I was so confused in my head what programming language I wanted to continue ahead with. Okay. Now we're clear in our head what programming language we want to go ahead with and what we want to do is learn the basics of that language. So let's say we chose Python. So you go on Google and you simply write learn basics of Python and the best link that pops up is learn Python the hard way. If you're like me and don't like reading text and you want to do some hands-on to begin with, you can go on Code Academy or Code Forces. Okay, so now we are done with the basics and you want to move on to practicing coding. So there are a lot of websites out there where you can practice your skills such as Code Chef, Hacker Earth, Hacker Rank and etc. But then you stumble upon some problem that you get stuck on for hours and hours and you still can't solve it. But what I'd suggest is never ever ever go on Google and search for a solution to that problem. Keep trying it till you are exhausted, till you've given your everything. And then you can go on and take help from some friend. But ultimately, it should be you who writes the code for that problem. It's going to be hard. But when you finally get a solution to that problem, you would have achieved something. And trust me, when you begin your jobs, you're going to realize that problems are going to be really, really hard and this habit of never giving up is going to help a lot. So at the end, let's go through a brief of how to begin coding. First, decide the language that you want to go ahead with. Second, stick to that language. Third, learn the basics. Fourth, practice some problems. Fifth, never give up. Keep these five points in mind and you're going to be a great coder. Hey guys, if you have made this far in the video, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button and that red subscribe button. It really motivates me to make new videos. And thanks for watching. Peace.